What's up YouTube, Georgia Silver Hunter back and today we'll be doing a $1,500 half dollar hunt. This is box one of three that I just picked up from my local fifth third. I'm excited to get into them. As you can see, I've already opened up the box and that's because over the last year I've had two or three occasions where I was shorted an entire roll. So I tend to open these at the bank uh, because they're more likely to give me my $10 back when they're, when they're missing a roll. Once I bring them home, they don't know if I'm lying or not, even though they do trust me, but uh, it's just harder. So with that said, we're gonna dive right into this box. So as usual, we are gonna open roll number one together. We are looking for silver, which is 1970 and earlier, and is really easy to find just by edge hunting because that silver edge will jump right out at you. Um, I don't see a silver edge in here right now. This looks to be all clad, and we will be looking for clad varieties and errors, mainly our 71D, our 72, I think it's the Denver as well for the no FG, the 74D DDO, the 82 and 83P no FG, and the 77D DDO are the most common errors that I look for. And like I said, silver from 65 to 70 is 40%, and anything prior to 1964 will be uh, your 90%. Anything that I put up here as I go through this first roll is something that I want to take a little bit closer look at under the scope because DDOs are really hard to see with the naked eye. And you usually want to use some sort of magnification, whether that be um, you know a, a really high-powered magnifying glass, a jeweler's loop, or a digital microscope. And I use a digital microscope. So that's roll number one. We have nothing interesting to show for it, so I'm going to keep going through these rolls off camera, and I will bring you guys in as soon as we find something interesting. We're on roll number seven, and we have our first find. It is a NIFC, which stands for Not Intended for Circulation, but it's the special one. It's a 1987 Denver. This is a uh, coin that was only made in, like, mint sets and proof sets, so it has no business being in circulation. These were just not ever released that way. So uh, what you will find in, like, the 2002 to the 2020 NIFCs, there's a good bit of those that were released uh, even though they were marked as not intended for circulation. So these 87s are pretty big finds for most coin roll hunters. Not a lot of value, but I hang on to every single one of these I find. I've probably got two or three rolls of them at this point, but love finding 87s. Well, unfortunately, we are done with box number one. We did have three finds. I only brought you in for one. The first one I've covered already in detail, the 1987D. We did find a pretty beat up 2009 Denver, not intended for circulation or NIFC or NIFC or whatever word you prefer or acronym pronunciation. And then I got a 2021 P that just looks outstanding. It's got a lot of ring, uh, this is like bag damage and stuff on the rim. Uh, I don't recall if the 2021 is technically an NIFC because I know a ton of the 21s and 22s are being released to the public. But uh, I'll end up tossing these two back and hanging on to my 1987. With that said, let's jump in to box number two. So here we are with box number two. Uh, like the first box, I've already opened it and I've gone through it for enders. I didn't see anything terribly exciting in this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. But before I do, uh, please know that I have tons and tons of coin roll hunts. So if you like this one and wanna go back in the past, I'll link to a playlist right about here that has all of my old playlists or all my old coin roll hunts. And uh, you can watch them from the beginning of the channel or just for 2022, actually, I think is the latest playlist I have. And about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I had an epic box where we found over $400 in silver. That video is also well worth checking out. So with that said, let's go ahead and do roll number one together like we normally do and see if we have anything interesting on the edges. And I'm not seeing anything. I got one kind of gray one here, but it's just a 1972. The rest is just gonna be clad. So like the last box, I will bring you in when we find something interesting. So we're on roll number 11, and it looks like we may be channeling a little bit of our last video. We've got something gold in here, and uh, the, by the edge, it looks really nice. Wow, this one's really nice, actually. Really shiny still, 2008 Philly. And that is blinging gold. 
Look at that. That's probably the nicest one I've ever found. First, find the box. And unfortunately for box two, we've reached the end of that one. And like box number one, have very little to show for it. Uh, we did have this blinging gold leaf 2008, which again, I'll hang on to. Not a lot of value here on the aftermarket. This might be worth 50 cents or a dollar. And I did end up with two 2006 NIFCs. So no silver to speak of, no varieties. I checked every single quarter and I had a million 1971s and 1972s to look at and quite a number of the 82s and 83s. Uh, not a single variety to speak of. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get into box number three. All right, well, we have our third and final box from Fifth Third. Uh, the first two boxes were not spectacular. I did open this at the bank like the others, and uh, I do have some NIFC enders. I think that was an NIFC ender. Uh, I did not see any silver, though, so we're going to get these pushed back and get into them, and hopefully we find a little bit of silver in here. If not, this will be a three-box silver skunk with uh, not a whole lot to show for it other than some NIFCs and some gold. So uh, fingers crossed. Let's get hunting. Okay, here's the first roll. Let's go ahead and do that one together and just edge hunt it. And then I will continue the hunt for varieties. Got one shiny guy here. It is a 2006 NIFC. So we're one for one so far. Not a great find, but we'll take it. One more shiny in here. What is that? It's just a nice 1978. All right, I'll keep hunting. Hopefully we find something cool pretty soon. We are 10 rolls in, and I've just come across my first real find. And I, I, I say this is a real find because it's a really, really blingy. It almost looks like somebody's polished it. 1987 Philadelphia, half dollar. And this is a not intended for circulation coin or an NIFC. These were only released in mint sets. And of all the NIFCs, these are the ones I still hang on to. Everything from 2002 and higher, I really toss back. I usually check them to see if they're upgrades for my books. Um, but this is our first real find. As you can see up here, I have so far found a, a, an 06, an 07, a couple of 08s, an 09, a 2011, and three 2020s. And what I've put aside here is, I don't know if this is like a collection dump or a mint set dump or something. Well, it, yeah, I guess it could be a mint set dump. Here's a 93, an 88, an 86, a 91, and a 91 that are all just super blingy. Super shiny, excellent condition, probably would still get mint state ratings. Um, so I've pulled those aside to see if there'll be upgrades for my books. Like I said, this 87 is really the one thing I'm excited about, and I'll just kind of put that here to the side. But wanted to bring in, real quick, just 10 rows in. It does look like we're in the middle of some sort of small, you know, I'll call it a collection dump. It's just not silver. It all looks like mint set stuff and not intended for circulation stuff. So that said, and like here's a shiny one right there. What is that? It's a 1984. I mean, that's just a, a really pretty 1984. I'll put here with the rest. Um, yeah, maybe a couple more. I was a bicentennial and a 71. They don't look too great. Lots of marked stuff in this box, but uh, it is what it is. I'll keep heading through these coins. Hopefully I can bring you in for something a little bit more interesting soon. So as you can see, this box has produced a ton of NIFCs, which we'll go through here in just a second. But I wanted to bring you in. We're on our last roll. I figured we could do that together. Uh, this box has been, I mean, I wish this was silver, uh, quite frankly, but it's like every couple of rolls were chalked with two or three, sometimes four really nice looking mint state coins or NIFCs. Um, not this time. Uh, we did get a lot of marked coins in this hunt. Um, it's a 73D that I'm going to put under the scope. Two of them. Let me just get through this roll, and then we will get to a wrap-up. So we are done with box number three, and everything you see laid out in front of you is everything that I pulled while hunting these rolls. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of value in any of it, but this entire top row is NIFCs. Let's take a quick look here. We had a couple, hang on here, let me get my thing over here. We had a couple of 2002s, a three, a four, a five. We had five 2006s, a couple of 2007s, eights, nines, 10, 11. I think we had 12, 13, 14, and looks like six 2020s. 
That's a lot of NIFCs in a single box. Now along the way, it was interesting too because I had a bunch of coins that were just really, really nice looking, super nice edges um, or reeds. Looked like these came from mint sets, uh, but we ended up, I just pulled these, I'm gonna check, check them against my book, but uh, we had a 71, a 78, 79, 84, a couple of really nice 86s, a beautiful 1988. Let's see here, what else? A couple of really nice 1991s, 93, 94, a couple of beautiful 96s, and a 98 and a 99. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the one coin I will be keeping out of this whole hunt is this 1987 Philadelphia. It does look like it had some tape over it at some point, uh, but it is a really, really nice coin, and that is one. I always keep my 87s because, as I said earlier in the video, these are, uh, of all the not intended for circulations, these 1987s are probably the most highly sought after. So like I said, this would have been, if, you're, if, if you were new to coin roll hunting and filling out some books, this would have been a great box because you would have just loaded up. Probably book, you know, I think it's book two and three or book three and four of the Whitman album for, uh, for half dollars because uh, there were just some really, really nice coins in here. Really, really great condition. But uh, I know most of you guys watch these hunts because you're hoping to find silver. You're hoping to find, you know, errors and varieties because those are highly collectible. Unfortunately, these three boxes just didn't do that for us. Uh, with that said, I am going to wrap up the video here. It was a lot of fun to hunt these half dollars, but hopefully, you know, next week's coins turn around because I would really like to get back on the silver and hopefully uh, find something a little bit more exciting for you guys to see. But hey, I got to show you what the boxes produce. And uh, this was a lot of coins to pull out of those rolls. So with that said, I'm going to sign off here. If you're, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider dropping down below here, clicking on that subscribe button, then clicking on that little bell and select all so you get notified each and every time I release a new video. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you're a longtime friend of the channel, drop below, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, and with that, I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.